I knew this was going on. You okay. knew this was going on? I knew this was going on back in 2004. Within two weeks after I was made, uh, it was announced that I was chairman of the Intelligence Committee. Uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi knew that this was going on. Leaks uh, or the, the NSA? The NSA. Nancy Pelosi would have known almost immediately in the aftermath of 9-11, uh, you know, within a few months after 9-11 that this program was being implemented. It was given over to the Gang of Eight, uh, the top intelligence uh, officials, representatives in the House and the Senate, and the leadership of the House and the Senate. They've known about this program uh, since early in its inception uh, back But it was in so different during the Bush years, right? It, but it, it, it's expanded. Uh, That's what I mean. Yeah. Is that is that the Fourth Amendment? I mean, I mean, but originally it was data but, but mining. The bottom line is they would have all known. Okay, <sighs> the elected leadership would have been briefed consistently. So they knew they were violating the Fourth Amendment. They well, no, they, they no, no. What they would they would disagree with you and say that they were not violating the Fourth uh, Amendment, that they were not violating, and that they were per, that the parameters that the NSA was working in. Uh, were met the constitutional requirements. They would disagree with you, but, but you can't say that they didn't know. They knew. I mean, a, a, the general writ of assistance is banned by the Fourth Amendment. The idea that the population is guilty until proven innocent is, is, is something we don't accept. I mean, that's why so many people don't like the TSA, but I mean, there, we were all surprised. Well, we on the outside were you, surprised you, by this, but shouldn't we be able to reform the NSA so it is Fourth Amendment compliant? Again, the leaders in Congress, the people in the judiciary who have taken a look at this, and the executive branch, number one, they would all agree, they, they would all believe that they're not violating the Constitution. So what, what, are, is what you're saying that nobody's innocent in this progressive, conservative, that for, for progressives to go running to the ACLU and say, I believe in civil liberties in the Fourth Amendment, they are just as knowledgeable as anybody else and everybody knew? Well, ever, no, not everybody knew. I mean, people leadership. In, leadership in Congress knew that this was going on, all right? And for them to hide behind, I don't, and I've not seen anybody hiding behind a wall. You've seen Dianne Feinstein come out. You've seen Dutch Ruppersberger come out. You've seen Peter Mike King. Rogers. What's that? Peter King. Peter King. You've seen um, Mike Rogers all come out and basically have been defending this program uh, because they've owned this program. They've owned this program for as long as they've been in leadership uh, on the Intel committees or in leadership in the House and the Senate. Wow, that's... That's huge. I just, I, I, it just, well, I'm glad you learned it, something it, today. It, it amazes yeah. me.